How was tonight's sojourn to the symphony, if I may be so bold as to inquire in regard to this evening's excursion from which you recently so interchanged? <laughs> Sorry, that one got away from me. The symphony was wonderful, Finn. It was Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. Oh, I love that one. Finn, are those the new people? Yes, ma'am. Just moved in the other day. Oh, Nicholas, let's go introduce him. No. Darling, it's the neighborly thing to do. Effie, we had families evicted so we could occupy the top three floors. That's as neighborly as I get. Could you hold that, please? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, I hope I'm not intruding. I'd like to welcome you to the building. I'm Nicholas Conklin. My wife, Effie, and I reside on the top floor. Uh. Lovely to meet you. I'm Emma Lanston. This is my husband, Hugh. How do you do, Effie? Oh, you're English! <laughs> English? Oh, I, I, I'm just mad for English accents. I swear I could listen to you talk all day. Trust me, my dear, you will. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid we haven't met many people here yet, so I've been talking poor Hugh's ear off. Well, you've met us, and we would love it if you'd come to dinner. How's tomorrow night? Smashing. <laughs> night. Good night. Cheerio! Don't do that. Well, dinner should be fun. How? They're English. The English are pompous. They're condescending. They walk around like they've got a huge stick up their patoot. Why would you want to spend one minute with them? Change of pace. <laughs> in front of the Reverend with my ex-fiancé. And I'm right about to say I do, but I don't. And that's when Eamon swooped in and saved me. Oh. He's the love of my life. Am I getting lucky or what? <laughs> well, we all got lucky, didn't we? I think it's marvelous how free you are in America. You can just run off with the handyman. <laughs> Sounds like your kind of country. Now, Puff, uh, darling, you're absolutely adorable. What do you do for a living? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> no, 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 no. I was just asking what line of work you're in, you know, what, what your job is. This is how you people hounded Princess Di, isn't it? <laughs> Mickey, what do you do? Oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> Go ahead, son. Tell them what it is you do all day. I'm a senior editor at Houghton Mifflin. Oh. Why is that so hard for you to understand? Because it's not true. <laughs> okay, I'm an astronaut. I apologize for my son. I'm an artisan cheesemaker. <laughs> Let's continue the conversation. I'm a master goldsmith. No, 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 you know, we haven't even talked about why you've come to New York. What brings you across the pond? <laughs> well, I'm in finance. I was transferred here to New York. There's also the small detail that if we'd remained in London an hour longer, we'd have killed each other. <laughs> so this is the part of the evening where we air our dirty linen. We're in America, darling, where they let it all hang out. Well, perhaps over dessert we can talk about your sexual problems. My sexual problems? Oh, forgive me, you don't have a problem with sex, you just hate it. Not with everyone. Well, you've proved that, haven't you? Well, this is lovely. <laughs> Can you get through one evening without attacking me? How about making an effort yourself, dear? These very nice people have been kind enough to invite us to dinner. How about a smile? Very well. My wife and I haven't had sex for seven years. <laughs> I apologize for my husband. He's had too much to drink. Nonsense. We're all having a lovely time. So, uh, tell me, don't you miss London at all? I just think it's too, too brilliant. Please, 
she's around English people for two minutes and suddenly she's got an English accent. This is simply not true, dear. This is the way I've always talked. <laughs> Sometimes he, he can be so terribly daft. <laughs> uh, more pudding? Would you wait for me downstairs in the car, dear? I have something to drop off at Hugh and Emma's. Oh, leave him alone, Effie. Wasn't last night excruciating enough? Well, I think she's lovely. I do agree. He's a pill. What a difficult man. Sniping and attacking his wife all night. Yes, for once I was actually happy to hear about Nikki's experiences in the Gulf War. <laughs> I'll see you downstairs. China, break it all! I will! Can I help you? Oh. <laughs> I, I was, um, I was just coming by to uh, deliver this to, to Emma. What is it? It's a Manhattan guide. It, it's, it's really wonderful. It, it tells you all the best, um, <laughs> caterers, uh, restaurants, florists, car services, that sort of thing. I'll see that she gets it. Anything else? No. Well, uh, thank you again for a lovely evening, and I'll make sure that she gets this very thoughtful gift. <laughs> Something for you, you miserable bitch! She's out again? Do tell her I called, Hugh. I'd be ever so grateful. Ta. Stop that. Still no Emma, Mom? No! I've rung her. Stop it. I mean, I've called her every day this week, but Hugh always has some excuse why Emma can't talk. So? First, I hear this terrible row. Fight, okay? <laughs> Since then, it's like she disappeared off the face of the earth. And for the last three days in a row, I went down there and listened at the door. Heard nothing at all. Just this deadly silence. So what do you think has happened? Well, I know you're all going to laugh at me. But I think it's quite possible that Hugh killed Emma. <laughs> Please. You're letting your imagination run wild. They're an unhappy couple. In real life, people don't kill people, they get divorced. You are so naive. Divorce can be ugly and public and bitter and humiliating, not to mention costly. I mean, many people in an unhappy marriage would, would choose a simpler option. Murder. So what do you do? Effie? Shoot her? Stab her? Oh, please. Nicholas, it's easy to kill a spouse. You just use an untraceable poison. Uh, arsenic, maybe. <laughs> Although, no, that would turn up in a routine autopsy. Uh, cyanide is, is an old reliable, of course. Strychnine is fast, but uh, there's too much convulsing. I bet he used something fat-soluble. That can't be traced. Effie? Yes, dear. <laughs> Nothing. Mom, you seem to know an awful lot about this. I read a lot of Nancy Drew as a girl. <laughs> okay, so Hugh killed Emma, but the hard part's getting rid of the body. You're right there, Nikki. Bodies do tend to swell, bloat, and crack. <laughs> so, first thing you want to do is drain it. You know, <laughs> just get it down to a more manageable size. It's simple, really. You just, just hang in the tub with a, a you know, block and tackle. <laughs> Cut off the feet and let the fluids run down the drain. Effie? What, dear? <laughs> Nothing. I read a lot of Nancy Drew, too, and I don't remember anything about anyone cutting off any feet. Uh, it's in one of the uh, later, more contemporary ones uh, from the 60s. I think it's Nancy Drew and the crazy nom vet. <laughs> Okay, so what then? Throw the body in the East River? No, the currents are all wrong. <laughs> what you want to do? Dump the body in a construction site right before they pour the cement. <laughs> Problem solved. See, kids... <laughs> 
crimes of passion never work. You have to think and plan every single day of your life. Every single day. Effie? What, dear? I love you. Ah, the ladies Conklin. Finn, I need to ask you something. When was the last time you saw Emma Lanston? Mom, give it a rest. Well, I can't say, ma'am. It's been several days. Why? My mother thinks Mr. Lanston killed his wife. Oh, I highly doubt that, ma'am. I am a fairly good judge of character, having worked the door for a number of years now. There's something about him I just don't like. Well, he is English, ma'am. <laughs> Maybe it's the fact that his people have oppressed my people, the Irish, for a thousand years, even creating an artificial food shortage that caused millions to die of starvation. No, it's his eyes. <laughs> oh, nice to see you again, sir. Why do you insist on saying that every bloody time I come in and out of here? <laughs> Definition of the gig, sir. Here, allow me to help you with that, sir. No, I don't need any... Oh, oh, my apologies, sir. Oh, interesting array of items you have, if I may say so. Extra strength plastic trash bag. Ooh, scary looking song. <laughs> Container of lies. No, and don't forget your grappling hook. Thank you. Well, let's hope she's dead. <laughs> These security cameras run all the time. People do things in the elevator when they don't think they're being watched. Part of our code is never divulge those details. Wait a minute. Um, these tapes show everything that people do in the elevators, like with other people who um, happen to be delivering a pizza or whatever? Yes, miss. Um, then, uh, would... What do you want me to say, miss? Tell me my face is not on those tapes. Your face is not on those tapes. <laughs> Just fast forward until you see any sign of Hugh or Emma. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There's Dad. Oh, now this is actually funny. <laughs> you see, he's going to work, and then Mrs. Jonathan gets on, and you see her Yorkie is lifting his leg. <laughs> God, and Dad doesn't see it. And there's your funny! <laughs> oh, look, there's Hugh. He's carrying a cardboard box. Oh, there he is again carrying another box. Emma's in those boxes. <laughs> a piece in here, a piece in there. He's slowly getting rid of her. You're not gonna be like this when you're your mom's age, are you? <laughs> you gonna be like him? <laughs> To get up there before he destroys all the evidence. Amon, give me your pass key. I can't do that, Mrs. Conklin. Allison, make your boyfriend give me his pass key. <laughs> How? <laughs> Amon, you've got to give me that key. I know I'm right about this. That poor woman has been murdered. If we don't get up there right away, Hugh will destroy all the evidence. Ah. Hello, everyone. <laughs> My God, you're all right. Why wouldn't I be? Amy, <laughs> can I borrow a saw? Uh, sure, Dad. That's okay. Perfect. <laughs> you need a hand with that. No, 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 I'm fine. If you don't mind my asking, what's in the trunk? 180 pounds of rubbish that I should have thrown out a long time ago. <laughs> Can you tell me where the incinerator is? <laughs> she killed him! Mom, would you stop? You saw the trunk. He didn't kill her. She killed him. Oh, think about what you're saying, Mom. She sent her husband out for trash bags, a container of lye, a grappling hook, and a hacksaw. And then when he came home, she beamed him over the head, stuck him in a trunk, and is now taking him to the incinerator where she's going to saw him apart and burn him up. 
Exactly. Daffy, please. First you killed Emma, now Emma killed Hugh. You're investigating a different killing every night. It's murder she drank. <laughs> All right, Nicholas, maybe you don't believe me. Maybe no one in the world believes me, but I know what I know, and I'm right about this. Well, kids, the day has come, as we all knew it would. Your mother has gone nuts. <laughs> this just hit you? <laughs> but maybe I should lay some other stuff on you. Allison's dating the building super, and Puff likes the fellas a lot. <laughs> Dad, you know what I think the problem is? Mom doesn't have enough to do. She goes and has lunch with the same three friends every day. Then she goes shopping. Then she comes home and she calls her friends and tells them what she bought. <laughs> Sounds like a lot to me. <laughs> All right, everyone, listen up. I've asked Emma to come up here. Why? Just let me handle this. Hello, Effie, everyone. Why, if it isn't Emma Lanston. <laughs> come in and sit a spell and we'll chat about nothing in particular. <laughs> Effie, is everything all right? I, I am in the middle of something. Why don't we play a little game? It's called, when did you last hold a chef's knife? Me first, yesterday when I sliced a tomato. Emma? <laughs> what is all this about? I know what happened to Hugh. You do? You killed him. What? <laughs> you think I killed my Don't husband? Don't deny it. Oh, well, I didn't. He's, he's gone, but not because I killed him. He, he's left me. We thought London was the problem, so we, we tried New York, but you, you always take your problems with you, and I guess in the end, I, I was the problem. Now he's gone, and I... I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were my friend. And now you've accused me of murder. <laughs> Let me apologize. <laughs> don't bother. I, I'm selling the apartment. And I'm, I'm moving back to London. Where people they feel so foolish. I was with you right up until you tried to convince us that you had ever sliced a tomato. <laughs> hey, everyone. Sorry I'm late, honey. I was helping the new people move in. The new people? In the Lanston apartment? Oh, maybe I should... No, Effie, you sit. <laughs> you stay. Yeah, I wasn't going to meddle. I, I, I was just going to welcome... No welcoming. No neighborly chats. Just stay out of their way. You know, Nicholas, I don't know when you're going to let me forget this. I, I've apologized up and down. I, I, I feel very foolish. Mom, we're all sorry that Emma didn't brutally kill her husband. Thank you, sweetie. Mr. McBride, there's a Miss Hendricks here to see you. Hello, everyone. I'm Sheila. I just moved in. Sorry to bother you, Eamon. They told me you'd be up here. I have a question about the apartment. Yeah, what's the problem? Well, the gentleman that previously owned that apartment, was he a man in his late 50s? Yeah. Gray hair? Yeah. Blue eyes with hazel flecks? I guess so. Why do you ask? Because his head is in the freezer. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelts. We'll be touching down in Rio in 20 minutes. So interesting talking to a lawyer. And you say that Brazil has no extradition treaty with either the United States or Great Britain. That's right. Interesting. You're interesting. Thank you. I want to see you in Rio. I'm sorry, but I'm be very busy. My advice to you is, don't make me angry. <laughs> Anything you want to say to me, Nicholas? Okay, Effie. You were right. I was wrong. I'm sorry. 
You know, if it takes a neighbor killing another neighbor to get you to admit that, well then, so be it. I admit it, you called it. None of the rest of us believed it. Well, you know, I can just read people. It's my gift. So you told the New York Post. Well, at least things are back to normal now. Yes. There's one thing. Dear, while you were sleuthing and figuring it all out, I, I must admit I was a bit disturbed by your elaborate and detailed knowledge of the many ways there are to commit a murder. Uh, it made me feel a little... Nervous, dear? Mm, yes, uh, yeah, a little. I mean, you knew what to do with the body, how to dispose of a corpse, various poisons. Oh, you seem all hot and bothered. You need a nice soothing cup of tea. <laughs> Here, have this one. Why are you offering me that one? Oh, which one do you want? This one? <laughs> Take a sip. I don't care to just now. Oh, Nicholas, you're being ridiculous. <laughs> you're right, dear. <laughs> I was just being... <laughs> Dream, dear. 